Jennifer and today I have kind of a different kind of DIY kind of a different <laughs> today I'm gonna show you guys kind of a different type of DIY a DIY rustic reclaimed wood headboard in total it cost me around $60 Canadian if you wanted to buy this style of headboard from a store some of them go up to like 400 500 and even more than that so you would definitely be saving a lot of money the cheapest one that I found was like 170 so I made it for a less than half the price. The only thing is that you have to put in effort. I personally enjoy making things. Surprisingly, this did not take long at all. The longest part was actually finding the right size wood at the hardware store. And I wanted to do this because I recently like mass cleaned my room It is like so much more empty than it was before and I think it looks a lot nicer If you guys want to see my cleaning process I have a video on my vlog channel of me just like cleaning my second channel name is Jen's life I will also leave the link down below to that video if you want to check it out But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you like my videos But yeah without further ado, let's get started So to start off this project, I made you guys a little diagram just to make it easier to understand what's going on. So you're only going to need three measurements, one for the entire height of your headboard. So I wanted mine to be 50 inches tall, which is 128 centimeters for my Canadians. And then you need a measurement for how tall you want the actual headboard to be. So this part is going to be shown. And then you are just going to measure the width of your bed. I have a standard queen size bed, so that's just going to be 60 inches. So for the actual headboard piece, depending on your measurements you're gonna have to do a little bit of math so I used eight pieces of wood in total each was three inches wide so eight times three inches is 24 inches I mean it's not that hard and I got each of the pieces to be cut to 60 inches long and for the legs they were just 50 inches long and three inches wide pretty easy I know it sounds complicated but I promise it's not so I made a trip to my local hardware store to pick up my lumber with my dad so the lumber that we chose was one one inch by three inches by eight feet. This was only like two dollars per plank so it was really affordable and in the hardware stores they usually cut it for you so we got them to cut it for us because I don't know how to use a saw. <laughs> so these are what the pieces look like. So now we're going to assemble them. I got my dad to help me with this obviously. We just laid the eight pieces down and then put the two legs on top near the edges and put two pieces of wood underneath just so that it would stay stable. Now we're just gonna nail the piece together we just use one and a quarter inch nails and you want to do the top and bottom parts first just so that it kind of stays stable and the wood doesn't move around while you're doing the rest of the nailing I don't know if that really makes sense but yeah then you just want to like continue nailing all of your nails in I actually find nailing nails like really therapeutic just like watching the nail go into the wood I don't know it just it's very calming. You can also add a piece in the middle if you want it to be more stable like I did. And after that, you can just take some sandpaper and sand it down. This is just so that the wood stain will absorb into the wood more easily and so that you don't get splinters while you're sleeping because that's not very fun. <laughs> now I'm just taking a regular cloth and just wiping away all the dust. Now I'm using my wood stain in brown color, I don't know. And I'm stupid, I showed you guys the French side, I'm sorry. But okay, here, hmm, this was just not one of the brightest moments in my life. I started painting my board and I was like, why does this literally look like an orange? And then I asked my mom, she was like, did you, did you mix it? And I was like, so basically, you're supposed to mix the paint stain in the tub, which I did not do. So after that, I just painted the stain on. And after a few minutes, I would like wipe off some of it just to give it that like rustic kind of feel so that it wasn't too saturated. So you can just paint however you like. And I gave this a few days to dry just because in those days it was raining a lot. But if it's really sunny, it should dry like within 24 hours. And once that's dry, you can just bring it up into your room and put it behind your bed. Bed, and this is what it looks like and I am so excited because it was seriously really really easy like you don't need any drills you don't need any like really big tools or anything and it was really really affordable to make compared to like actually buying it in a store but hey if you do want to buy it go ahead and buy it I just enjoy making DIYs so if you don't enjoy making stuff like this probably isn't the project for you but I just really like how it turned out and I'm so excited Ah. 
that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, I hope you guys are having a jolly good day. I will see you guys next time. Bye!